What's up, my beautiful people? How are you today and how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rehima. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. Welcome me with a hug, 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 hug. Come for some. Hey, hey. <laughs> So, on this channel, we basically talk about personal development, how we can be the best version of ourselves, how we can live the best of excellency and integrity as we get to know ourselves emotionally, spiritually, mentally, as we connect with our body. If you conversations like that, please subscribe to be notified every time I upload a video. And today's video is going to be about why do we take things so personal? Why? Like, like why? I hope you don't speak in that voice and you think, You've taken that personal. Many of us take things so personal. I used to take everything personal. If someone says something, you think it's all about you. Every time something happens, it could always be about me. But until when I noticed, it's not always about you. That's why we're going to talk about it today. So, shall we take a step back and ask yourself? So, I may give you one example. I was working recently, I met someone I know. <laughs> so, I met someone who has been close to me, and guess what happened? I greeted the person, and the person kept quiet. I greeted the person again, and the person kept quiet. He was holding himself like this. I looked at the other person, and I'm like, okay, am I talking to a dog? Am I talking to a dummy? What is not happening? <laughs> Guys, it was so interesting. So, in my heart, if it was the first me, I would have taken that person off. But this time around, I just looked at the person and I continued. I didn't know what to do. But deep inside in my heart, I was like, maybe this person is having a bad day. Maybe this has nothing to do with me. So, when I read somewhere, I still realized if it was the past me i would have thought why didn't he respond why didn't he say something why did he have to keep quiet what did i do wrong i would go in that guilt in that shame in that sh huh? you know of saying why 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 but this time around i chose to be like maybe that like, it's inside i just chose to do that and that is one way of choosing not to take things personal look at the coin the coin is having two sides so you might have seen this other side, but you don't know what is this other side. So whenever you look at someone and they give you that face of, okay, what is happening? Don't always take things personal. First thing, was that best color for me? Or it was for something else? Or someone is having a bad day. Imagine you're driving a car, you're in jam, someone is quoting, someone is giving you the flashlights, and someone you don't have where to pass, but someone is still doing that. Maybe they think you're driving so slowly. Maybe they think you didn't go for a defensive driving. Maybe they are in a hurry, they're in a rush, they're having a meeting and they would really want to hurry. Why would you have to be like, okay, this person has abused me because I'm a slow and I don't know how to drive after you. Why do you have to put it on your side? No, it has to deal with them. Look at it in this angle. I have nothing to deal with this. So why we take things personal is here. It's our ego. Or it's has to be about you guys. Let's talk about it. There was someone there on their phone and you feel like, okay, why are they on their phone? Why are they not talking to me? Am I not important? I'm here to see them and they're on their phone. You see? You're taking things personal. Maybe this someone has received a message which is so, so important. If he or she couldn't see it today, it would end life. Maybe someone has received bad news that he has to figure it out and has to reply the message. So, always look at it in this way. Not like, why me? Look at it in this angle of, maybe it is so important for them at that time. But because our ego is so wounded, you feel like, no, it's all about me. Why? Why? <laughs> you're dying why and you're hurting your emotions. No way. Choose to see it in this other angle. Of, okay? Whatever. Whatever. Whatever it is. It's with them. It's not. It's between them. It's not with me. You being on your phone, I'm out with you and you're on your phone. That is not my problem. That is your problem. It shouldn't be my problem. Of why? Like, am I not worth giving attention? No. It's about you. It's all about you. It's not about me. You know. Take it in that good faith. Shift your mind from me to we. You or she is looking at their phone because it is about to be good news for both of us. You know, you've been at work and your boss suddenly said words came and backed at you. Why do you think it is about you? 
why don't you think it's about them having a bad day? Why don't you think it's about them carrying garbage? Why does it have to be on you? The day you realize people move with garbage, you don't know what people are going through. It is the day you get done with being personal. Trust me. I've witnessed it several times. Someone looks at you and they say words, and you're like, okay, was that for me? Like, the conversation we're having in between, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> Those bitter, bitter words. And most of the time, Lately, I just look at them and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know how to react. I just look at them with that face of, okay, what is not happening? I'm very sure this is not for me. So how about you take that attitude of, okay, when someone's back such you, you look at them with like, oh, hmm, I know you're struggling with something else. It is not for me. Hmm? Someone tells you're not worth it. You're doing nothing. You're worthless. And you allow that? No, 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 no. People are having bad days. <laughs> They're just having bad days and they would want to throw them on you. So if you absorb it, it will totally the whole day. It will spoil your day. So just let them be. Let them carry their own burdens. Let it not be on you every time that someone has put things on their status and you feel like, okay, I'm relating with this person. It is about me. No, 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 no. People are dealing with bad days. People are dealing with their own garbage. People are dealing with their problems. You don't know what they're struggling with at that time, so let them be. When they're done with dealing with whatever it is, hmm, you'll grab them back and be like, hello, what were you saying? I would like to know what you're saying. I would want you to sit with this other angle. They've invited someone to go for a dinner with them, and they tell you, I don't have time. And before you know it, that true same day, you see the same person who say they don't have time, they are going out with the girls, maybe on the road trip, they're going somewhere else. And you take that person, you'll be like, no, why not me? I asked you out and you couldn't go out with me. Maybe they booked that earlier. Maybe they were on a point. Maybe they were already on, on the schedule. Maybe it was much more important around that time than you just could wait. Why do you have to take it personal? Why do you have to think like, I'm not worth meeting this person? Maybe I'm not of her standards. Maybe I'm... you just start thinking whatever it is, whatever negative things you think. Why don't you take it in this perspective of, I can change this is too positive. Maybe she went out there to tell the girls she has made the love of her life. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to twist things into negativity? Just be positive for once. Don't give yourself negative energy of trying to be like, hmm, because I'm not worthy her, because, no. It's all about her. You did your part. You invited her for dinner and she couldn't. She just go with the girls. It may be important around that time. More than yours. Just can't wait. When two people are talking and they laugh, you feel like, okay, they're talking about me. Why don't you have this feeling of, okay, they're talking about how great I look today. How beautiful I am. Why do you have to think they're talking ill of me? Why do you have to put that in your mind first? stop it that energy will spoil your day will lead you somewhere where you don't think even when people are thinking about good things about you always think they're negative things be positive for us why do you have to be like okay why are they laughing it may be in their own business they're not even on you they're not laughing about you but you feel like these people are talking about me no you would want to feel like your ego is always right but let me tell you as you're still on this universe you just have to stop taking things personal because you're going to be hurt <laughs> Let me tell you, baby, you're going to be hurt in this lifetime. If you want to take everything personal, you will be hurt. Every single little thing will make you hurt. Your partner has woken up and they have not greeted you. And you feel like, okay, why didn't they greet me? That's everything has to be on you. No, maybe they woke up on the bad side. They woke up on the left side of their mind. It's not all about you. They woke up thinking about something. Maybe they had nightmares. Maybe they had a bad dream. Why is it always to be about you? <laughs> no, it's not always about you. When someone does that at your place, you can do the same. If you greet them and they don't respond, please do the same. So sometimes you just don't have to do things because you just have to think you're always right. Because your ego is always right because you have to be responded to because you need attention and it has to be given to you every time you need it sometimes you just have to let people be when someone says i can't have a relationship with you why do you have to first think like okay i'm not worth this person why would they say it? and you have to think like maybe this person is saving my life maybe this person is thinking is already happy where they are why does it always have to be about you 
maybe this person is saving my time because I may get into this relationship and they waste my time for the rest of my life. Why do you have to think about it this other way? Think about it in the way of it is okay. When people say no, they're actually saving you sometimes. So don't take everything personal that comes along your way. Sometimes it is okay to just let people be. Maybe she's healing from the wounds of the past relationship. Why does it have to be on you that you're like, okay, why did they say no to me? Why can't I have a relationship with this person? You stick on that point. You stick on your negativity. Why can't it be someone is healing? Someone is getting over this. Someone is just not okay with it. Some, why? Try your level best to think about the other person. Let it be about we, not me. Because when you think about you, that is when things go wrong. Even when the things are not supposed to go wrong. That's how it starts. Besides all this, what can we do to stop it? It's not about me. Let it not always be about you. Shift me to me. That is going to help you a lot. That is going to help you not to judge people, not take everything personal, even the ones that are not supposed to be personal. So see other people's intentions, see other people's opinions, see other people's good things that are about to happen to their life. Just see things in another perception of, okay, Maybe it is for our own good. Maybe they are going through a hard time too. Maybe it is a bad day for them. Don't put things on yourself. Period. For once, just think about with the other person. Yes, you have abused me. I'm a fool. I'm not worth it. I'm everything. But was it real about me? Oh, you're having a bad day. You're just carrying some rubbish and you'd want to throw it into my eyes to make my day also a bad day. You know? So let it be on the other people too. Let it not be always about you. And if that one can't work for you, what you're going to do is very simple. You know your what? Even though people talk about what they say, whatever they think they should say, whatever they try to figure out saying, your what will never change. It will never change, not even a single day. If you abuse me today, you're full. You don't know what you want in life. Will that change who I am? It can't change who I am. Just give them a silent treatment will make the ones backfire them most of the time because when you keep quiet someone is like Ogi, i was having a bad day but i wanted us to exchange words here <laughs> and this person has reassured me they are not ready to exchange words so what do you do they end up apologizing actually the ones i've seen when they say words and they were not worth the saying then maybe they were having bad days in the long run, they end up apologizing because you didn't exchange with that. If you do, you're just putting everything on fire. So just keep quiet and look at someone. Each one, they're like, okay, what am I doing? Who am I attacking? Was this real about them? Another thing you just have to do is stop taking things fast. Just say it loud because every time you keep it to yourself, it may accumulate and you feel like it's all about you. Just tell someone, oh, was that for me? Just say a simple word. Just say it loud and give it a space to fight wherever it will go. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Let me hope whatever I've said, you won't take it personal because everything almost is related to taking things personal. Even the ones that are not supposed to be taken personal. So please let me know. Let me hear from you.